In the shadows of a little antique shop in the middle of town, a mirror with a frame covered in exquisite carvings glowed like it was revealing long-lost family secrets. There was something about the mirror's spooky appeal that pulled in the curious and the naive. Emily, a young woman with an intense interest in the occult, frequently lost herself in the store's maze-like aisles. She couldn't help but approach the mirror. She felt compelled to it. The frame was old and mysterious, and the glass appeared to glow with an energy from beyond our world. Emily approached the mirror with apprehension and anticipation, one fateful day as the sun cast long shadows across the store. She reached out and lightly touched the smooth surface, smiling nervously at her reflection. But when her eyes met the mirror's depths, apprehension swept over her. She looked into the mirror and saw someone else staring back at her. It was a perverted reflection of her true nature, reeking of malice and suppressed lust. As she stared in fear, Emily's heart began to accelerate. What she saw in the mirror was a kaleidoscope of frightening pictures and unnerving visions, a reflection of her deepest fears and wants. The mirror seemed to have reached into her subconscious and brought to life her deepest, darkest fears and deseries. Emily looked into the mirror and saw herself executing horrible crimes, her hands smeared with blood and her eyes unfeeling. She witnessed the faces of her loved ones twisted in anguish as their cries for help went unheard. She became more and more engrossed in the mirror's distorted world. Emily, panicked and bewildered, sought to get away from the mirror's malicious glare, but found herself trapped. She felt herself being sucked into the depths of the mirror as the boundaries between her actual and imagined worlds began to dissolve. As the antique shop disappeared from view, Emily was left alone in her own terrifying self-reflection. Her worst fears and wants had taken over her life since she began looking into the cursed mirror. Emily had only began her voyage into the twisted region beyond the glass, and the horrors that awaited her were beyond her wildest imagination. Because the image in the glass had become her actual life, she could no longer make decisions about her future and getting out of there felt hopeless. As she explored farther into the mirror's warped reality, she understood that escaping would mean facing the worst parts of her own psyche. The mirror's reflection held the key to Emily's rescue or final destruction, and her perilous journey was only beginning. Emily's view of the world has been profoundly altered by her experience in the haunted mirror's other world. Time and space had been distorted, and she was living a nightmare version of her own existence. The world seemed similar to the one she knew, yet everything was distorted and warped. There was a definite sense of dread in the air, as the shadows writhed like evil beings. As Emily explored this uncanny mirror of her life, she began to feel uneasy. Emily saw frightening representations of her anxieties and wants as she explored deeper into the mirror's domain. She witnessed horrifying caricatures of her loved ones in the mirror. The features of her loved ones were permanently scarred by the pain they had been through. Emily's psyche was cruelly manipulated by the mirror's dark force. It slipped sinister suggestions into her mind, encouraging her to give in to her worst impulses. The violence and brutality she saw reflected in the mirror made her feel compelled to join in. However, Emily held firm. She clung to the remnants of her own personality, refusing to give in to the gloom. The domain of the mirror relentlessly attempted to shatter her will. Emily came upon a broken mirror while exploring the warped terrain one day. She sensed it carried a ray of hope, in contrast to the cursed mirror that had dragged her into this nightmare. She leaned out hesitantly to touch it. As soon as her fingertips touched the shard, a burst of power shot through her. Her past and the decisions she had made came flooding back to her like a movie. She realized that the broken mirror was a metaphor for her own soul, which was divided between good and evil. Emily's resolve strengthened as she recognized that only by facing her own inner demons would she be able to escape the mirror's domain. She had to face her demons, atone for her sins, and summon the courage to cast off the shadows that had entangled her. Emily faced a number of tests and hurdles within the mirror world on her dangerous quest for self-knowledge. She had to face her own shame, remorse, rage, and fear as they manifested themselves in each exam. The image in the mirror kept harassing and mocking her, but Emily kept going because she was determined to escape this nightmare. 
She became more resilient and resolved to recover her authentic self with each challenge she overcame. Emily knew that the ultimate clash with the evil powers that had captured her was imminent as she continued to explore the mirror's warped reality. Seeing yourself in the mirror was both her ticket to freedom and a portal to her deepest, darkest fears. Emily faced the reflection in the mirror head-on, resolved to break out of the cursed realm that threatened to swallow her. Her soul was still under attack, and the horrors she would soon face were unfathomable. Emily's resolve to flee the realm of the cursed mirror became stronger as she endured each new ordeal there. She had confronted her inner demons and made peace with her past sins, bringing her one step closer to liberation from the evil powers that had held her captive. As Emily explored more into the warped world within the glass, she began to see a shift in her reflection. Changes were made, and she was no longer portrayed as a perverted caricature of herself. Instead, it reflected a strong and independent version of herself. This small but significant change gave Emily reason to believe she might eventually free herself from the mirror's influence. She realized that the only way out was to face the evil that was reflected in the mirror. At the center of the mirror realm, Emily discovered a forlorn and decaying home one fateful day. It was a menacing emblem of the evil that had trapped her. The outside of the home was covered with horrifying carvings and mysterious symbols that appeared to writhe and move. Fearful of what could lie in wait for her in the mansion's murky depths, Emily entered the building with caution. The walls seemed to pulsate with terrible force, and the air within was thick with an oppressive blackness. Emily's footsteps reverberated ominously through the mansion's maze-like hallways as her pulse raced with anticipation. The mirror's presence was like a magnet pulling her deeper into the mansion until she reached the climactic showdown. The mirror's frame was decorated with twisted carvings that seemed to wriggle and deform, but she persevered until she reached the big chamber at the mansion's center. Emily glanced at the reflection of herself in the mirror, which had morphed into a shadowy double. The image smirked at her, its voice a cold whisper that reverberated across the room. You cannot escape, Emily, it teased. I am everything you're afraid of and everything you want. You and I are in an impossible situation. Emily girded herself, calling on the fortitude she'd learned on her adventure through the mirror world. She knew she had to stare down the reflection, rejecting the evil it symbolized. Emily said with conviction, I do not identify with my fears or my desires. My freedom of choice and adaptability describe me. I don't accept the evil you stand for. The image in the mirror shrank back, its evil shape twisting and writhing. The terrifying scream it let out shook the room and appeared to ripple the fabric of the mirror realm. The mirror felt a burst of strength fill up inside of her as she fought against Emily's rejection. Her will to be free gave birth to a strength that could vanquish evil on its own terms. Emily used her final ounce of willpower and the cursed mirror crashed to the floor. The evil powers that had imprisoned her were driven back into the night, and the nightmare reflection was broken into a thousand pieces. The mirror's interior world started to fall apart, its warped landscapes fading like fog. Emily felt herself being yanked out of the cursed world and back into her own reality. As Emily freed herself from the mirror's hold, she found herself back in the antique shop among the broken pieces of the omen's relic. She felt relief and victory as she realized she was finally free of its evil grasp. But she also understood that the memories of the atrocities she had seen in the mirror world would never fully fade. Although she had triumphed in the battle for her spirit, the wounds from her trauma were still visible. Emily's voyage into the paranormal realm was altered when she left the antique shop with a newfound respect for the strength of her own soul. The mirror's image had been vanquished but it would leave behind a disturbing reminder of the evil that might still reside in human hearts. Even after Emily had destroyed the evil mirror and freed herself from its hold, the traumatic events still haunted her. Her mind would forever be altered by the extraordinary adventure she experienced in the land of the mirror. As Emily tried to resume her regular routine, she was plagued by a deep sense of discomfort. She still had nightmares where she saw her reflection in the mirror, and it was distorted to represent her deepest fears and wants. 
Emily found refuge in the study of the arcane and the paranormal in order to overcome the remaining shadows of her otherworldly encounter. To learn more about the evil powers that had trapped her, she researched old manuscripts and visited with specialists in the area. Emily found out via her investigation that the cursed mirror was not an isolated relic, which was a terrifying discovery. Other mirrors existed, here and there throughout time, and they too could expose the deepest, darkest parts of the human psyche. These mirrors were frequently mentioned in tragic and terrifying tales, with the belief that they lured unwary victims into their own nightmares. Emily learned that she was only one of many victims whose misery could be traced back to these supposedly cursed objects. Emily set out on a mission to track down and destroy all of the cursed mirrors so that no one else would have to go through what she had. She aspired to use the wisdom she had received from her own experience to release those who had been trapped by their reflections. Her travels carried her to far-flung locales where she met others who, like her, had been affected by the cursed mirrors. The horror and tragedy of their experiences made Emily feel deeply sympathetic for them. They banded together to create a small but resolute group, intent on facing the evil that lay beyond the cursed mirrors. They were prepared for the terrible horrors they confronted with ancient rituals and occult knowledge. Emily and her newfound allies have been fighting the cursed mirrors and have unearthed ancient rituals that have the potential to weaken the malicious spirits and break the power of the mirrors. They were able to save more lives as they neutralized more mirrors reflecting nightmares. However, the evil powers guarding the mirrors should not be taken lightly. They countered with devious schemes and increased their efforts to impede Emily and her friends. Emily's spirit felt the rising strain of fighting these otherworldly beings as the price of their disobedience rose. Emily and her companions overcame insurmountable odds to destroy many cursed mirrors, relieving countless victims of their agony. The evil forces, however, were not yet defeated, and the war was far from done. Emily understood that the shadows of her own supernatural ordeal would always be a part of her as she continued her mission to confront the horror hiding behind the cursed mirrors. The trauma she endured altered her permanently, but it also gave her the will to stand up to the evil that threatened to trap others. With a strong will and an unrelenting dedication to the fight against the cursed mirrors, Emily set off on a trip that would push her to the brink of her bravery and humanity. She may have been scarred by the evil powers, but she would not rest until the world was rid of their malign influence and those trapped in the cursed mirrors were released from their nightmare images.